Wow. <laughs> so you're, you're increasing the pressure of the air by 26 Up times. 26 times. But it can push the uh, thrust of the engine up by 30%. Wow, that's incredible. Here at the Dubai Air Show, there's some really cool things. Just like this actual jet engine from the Eurofighter Typhoon, the EJ200. And we're gonna show you exactly how a fighter jet engine is different from a commercial jet engine, because this one, on the other side, they've cut it right open so you can see everything in action. Where we basically start is at the um end of the fuselage, so let's say the last 20% um, of the fuselage, that's where the, the engine bay is located. Mm -hmm. That's where the engine is basically installed in the airframe. So this gets put into the back of the fighter jet. That's sitting in the back of the fighter jet, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So from the front here, you were saying that there's a long uh, tube, like the long air intake of the, uh, exactly. uh, the fighter jet. And then basically when the um, aircraft to engine interface comes, that's where we start here. Mm -hmm. So that's the inlet of the engine. And then you have, um, it's a two-spool turbofan design. Mm -hmm. So you have three low-pressure compressor stages, which basically compress the air to, to a certain level. Mm -hmm. And then after the low-pressure compressor, you divide the airstream into the bypass uh, section. So there's a small percentage of air going through a bypass. Do you know what percentage of the air actually goes uh, into... The bypass ratio is 0, 0 0.4 to 1. Oh, wow. Okay. So the um, majority of the air passes uh, further on into the HP compressor here. Mm -hmm. So it's further compressed uh, through five uh, rotor stages here. The total pressure ratio is about uh, 26 to 1. Wow! <laughs> so you're, you're increasing the pressure of the air by 26 Up times. 26 times. Wow, that's incredible. And then what happens after that? Basically, at the end of the HP compressor, the um, piping you can see here is a fuel supply mm -hmm. to the um, yeah, fuel injection system here. So you can see the, the burners of the uh, main combustion of the core engine here. Mm -hmm. So that's what you see here is the combustion chamber. It's also the hottest section here at the end of the combustion chamber. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, you um, pass on into a one-stage HP turbine. And that turbine basically provides the power to um, turn the HP compressor. So it's one stage, here we have five stage kits. Oh, wow. And then what happens after? What happens after? So you, you go further on. Yep. Then you meet the low pressure turbine. It's also a single stage design. Yep. The low pressure turbine, that small thing, provides all the power to turn the compressor, the low pressure compressor or the fan. So, so you've got these two turbines that are powering the stages that it goes through. So it's kind of like the chicken before the egg scenario yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then that's basically already the plane where the um, yep. core engine ends. So right. here, a normal engine, as you know it from the civil aircraft world, would end up here. So yep. we have probably a small conversion nozzle here. And then the rest of it, so all the rest of the length is basically the afterburner system and the um, variable exhaust nozzle, as you can see there. So here, on pilot demand, you can um, basically bring in additional fuel yep. which is ignited basically provides additional thrust yep. it's not very effective though no it uses a lot of fuel but it can push the uh, thrust of the engine up by 30 percent so the wow. total thrust of the engine including the afterburner is around 90 kilonewtons mm -hmm. so that's basically it and perfect. And so here at the end, where we come to the actual, where everything's coming out, uh, you have some hydraulic systems here to control the actual uh, engine exactly, nozzle. Exactly. It's a hydraulic system, uh, which is used to basically adjust the uh, nozzle, the 
according to the current airflow and mm -hmm. uh, exit requirements. And so is this engine just a, is this just a mock-up or is this an actual engine that was built? engine that was built so the engine itself uh, used to be in the development program mm -hmm. of the aircraft and um, it has been certainly refurbished uh, to basically um, show you um, the, the more or less current standard of it yeah wow this is absolutely very very cool and what aircraft would we find this engine in today this engine the only application is yeah. the Eurofighter Typhoon. thank Feel you so much yeah thank you i appreciate thank you. it